previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool.
safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks. For coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But... It's different. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but... It felt wrong. Come on. Okay. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. But don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have. Ed. Just because he don't have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Well, he didn't, so leave him alone. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. <sighs> we got something to tie this shit bird up? Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen... I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... promise you I won't abandon you again. 
Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. I know. Come on, Slowpokes! Wait, we need to stop. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. They're not all like that. There are good men too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I wish I had had a chance to meet him. Me too. I wish he was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Damn it. Here. Thank you. We get here. What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca. Carlos, Sarah. They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. 
That's perfect. What a mess. Hmm? Uh, nothing much. Yeah, nothing important. Okay. You don't gotta tell me if you don't want to. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. Bad a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Got there. Cause I think I'm alright. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right, let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? So... I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? Stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Ah. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit! It's still more walk. Some more hours. Goddammit! I knew this was gonna happen! 
This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. You're a natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Dig a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure... This is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. 
It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that... That is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now! The both of you! Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man. Shit somewhere. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. Have you had any? You want a sip? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I 
I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I asked you not to drink. Girl your age, it ain't right. I know you think you're older, but... Of all the things I've done, that I've seen, I really don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I I'm sorry. You're right. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Koch's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that, too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. You should come, too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey. I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. How you, Clem? It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. 
We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. I don't like it either, but we shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So, I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! Please, Steve. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built! We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry.
We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Well, just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's you. Too thin for both of us. I just. I just gotta be careful. Oh! Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! You need help, Luke! The ice is too thin! I got it! You need to help! No! Clem, you're go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're light! You Stop can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it! But you need to go. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. No, my legs. My, my, my leg. I just Hold need on. to I got you. rest a sec. Uh, keep him off us, No, man. no. Too much. Too Shut much. Up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Go back. I got you. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get them warm. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. The ice. It was too thin. I just. Once that ice started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have helped him. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It wasn't Arvo's fault. Luke was shot. And who got him shot? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you! You mother! Fuck what the uh, fuck, Kenny? Uh, Kenny! Stop it!
lose your taste for this sort of thing? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Dad 
daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Well, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here, other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. What do you want? I just wanted to see how you were. <sighs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something.
Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. It puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation. But maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Walk away from us! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. 
I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Who's there? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go.
Clem. Clementine. <gasps> Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Maybe. She's kind of crazy. She wouldn't make it very long out there alone. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I do you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be alright. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? 
I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We... we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. I don't know how to get through to him anymore. I don't think we can. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! Hurry! Get out! Hurry! <laughs>
Jane? Kenny! You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane! Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Is it true? Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him! It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny! Not after all this! We're all that's left! Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! Stop! Please! <laughs> Let go! Jane! Asshole! Fuck you, dare! Fuck you! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere. Fine. You're going to kill each other! No, I'm gonna kill her! Try it, you old fuck. Uh. I'll fucking kill you! Uh. Uh. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Clem. You made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. <laughs> It's my fault. No. No, you did what you had to. You don't ever have to apologize for that. We almost made it. We 
We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <coughs> I'm afraid, Glenn. It's okay, Kenny. You're, you're going to see Kutch and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. We're all safe. We're going to be okay. It was a stupid plan. I should never...
should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. I forgive you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was gonna do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. Can't see much from here. Come on. I don't... I don't know how you were able to watch that. I'm glad I did. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. Come on. They don't look armed. This your place? Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah? Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Step away from the fence, please. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please. Leave. What? You heard me. Now. Please. Don't do this. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... What if we're dangerous? What if I am? Come on, honey. Let's go. Thanks for doing that. After looking at that kid, I wasn't sure if I could. I'm not doing that again. We're on our own now. 
Sometimes, you have to hurt someone else to protect the people you care about. A friend told me that once. They might come back. Then we'll be ready. <laughs>